Dun, dun, dun. Deal plays games. Welcome back to another episode of the Oblivion Walker. Too much, too carry, too heavy, can't run. So, uh, right. So, so far we've completed 12 Daedric quests. We're part way through one of them, which gives us 13. And we're about to aim ourselves at another Daedric quest, which we've just been invited to from episode 51. However, in the meantime, what we're doing is we're just taking a long walk through the night time of Whiterun to get to a place where we can sell all the crap me and Arani have uh, gained over the past wee while. So there's things we're going to sell that, you know, we don't need. We have no desire to use and things like that. None of the Daedric items. We're holding the hell on to those things because they're epic and cool. But there's a whole pile of other stuff we just don't need, you know? Special weapons, gifts, all that crap. Things that are just weighing us down. Man, weighing us down. As well, what I'm going to do is, going to, when I get to my destination, I'm going to pull everything out of Arania. I'm going to recharge all her um, special staffs and stuff, even though I think she can still use them. I'm just going to use up some of my enchant and perk myself up a wee bit on that one. Hopefully I'll get a level increase or just, you know, some skill increase. So, um, yeah. Lovely little walk over here. Aran is probably standing behind me and going, Why are you just walking? Dude. With any locks here, we don't have a real Dude, do you really want to start something? Yous are all on a dif dif difficulty level. I know that means I can take a lot of yous out. The twilight watches. I need to trade some things with you, love. Um, right, okay, so we're going to go through here. Um... We're going to leave you with that, because that could be useful. We're taking both of those. No idea when that's for, but we'll take that. Take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. We'll take, that. We'll take the wedding ring. You can keep that. You've obviously decided you prefer orcish armor to the steel-plated armor, but then I haven't refined that. Hold on to that, and... Let me see, what type of boots are you using? The orcish boots, is that because they're... Well, they are better. Right, so we'll not bother with that. We'll take that one. We'll take the orcish helmet. Um, we'll leave you with that. We'll take that. We're going to also take... Oh, we'll want you to hold on to that because we need to... Okay, we're taking that. Taking that. We're taking that. Taking that. This is all just to recharge these for you, love. Don't worry. Take that. And we'll take that. Right. Give me a sack. Until next time. Have a little faith in me, Arania. Have a little faith. Little faith. Okay. This one, no. And that's a sight. Okay. Guardian. What do you need, Guardian? What do you need to take? Give, give, woman. Not everyone takes. Some of us give things, so we can have that. You can have that, you can have that, you can have that, you can have that, you can have that. I don't trust you with the Wabajack. You're going to turn everything into Dramora, and that's just going to freak me the heck out. So, um. You want, and your weapon you currently got is that. So, we're going to give you the. that as well. There you go. Isn't that nice of me? It's been an honor. I do like Arani. She can go from, you know, two-handed, heavy, hardcore, down to, you know, mage craziness. So, uh... Little bit of time travel. I have to say, that Whispering Door quest, though you have to do the uh, dragons thing, it's nice and quick. I was a bit worried, though, that... I wasn't going to be able to get through that skill check. 
for um, getting the door unlocked, but thankfully that turned out to be not that big a deal, so we're okay. Take a good look around, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything's for sale, my friend. Take a look. Okay. Right, so we want that, we want that, we want that. See, all the weapons we have are things we want to use and alternate between. However, you can take the gold ring. We apparently already have that. That's useless to us. Ring of health, we have that ability, steel armor. Yeah, you can have that. And for mina robes, you can keep that. The rest of that is all stuff we want to hold on to. Right, he's not got that much left. So what we'll do is we'll go down here and we'll sell up. Yep, yeah, have that, and you can have that. Have that. Right. 48, so let me see what can it what else can we give him? Give him that. Give him that. I think that's us almost empty. That should be everything out that we don't, you know. Have much of a use for. Yeah, emptied him out. Let's see what he has in here. Oh yeah taken both those great we can then let me see. let me see what else do we want to get rid of on this list things we don't really use Yes, sell all them. I'll do keep that. Don't need that. Hold on to that. That might be useful if I remember to use it. And and uh, no, we'll keep the rest of that. Scrolls. Oh yeah, we can sell these now. These will uh There we go. Let's see if he's any lockpicks on him. No, no lockpicks. And we're good. Thank you. Yay, we're unencumbered. Woo! And we've also cleared you out so you can start storing some more stuff. Right. To Dawnstar! Star, come on, come on, come on, it's up here somewhere. Ah, there it is. So here we are in Dawnstar, and what we want to do is miscellaneous and visit the museum. Consider joining. Your ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. Oh, there's the, the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. Family drama. 
I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Why not? Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Okay. Several of his ancestors belong to the Mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. All right, yeah, those dudes. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. Oh, that sucks. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the Mythic Dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. I can see that. Well, sometimes that happens. Not a student of history, I see. No. It's for the best. They're a group that should be forgotten. The only thing you need to know is that they almost destroyed the world. And they were stopped a long time ago. Well, that's good. That museum is a mistake. Yeah, but I kind of have to, love. So, um, bye. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Okay. Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Alright, cool. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Is that some blood soaked? Yeah. And let's talk inside. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job. The tapestry's hung here and Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia. An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon. The patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. Hmm. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, uh -huh. Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died. That they would be reborn by Merun Stagon's side. Nice. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes. The blasphemous book written by Merun Stagon himself. Uh-huh. Okay. that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. That's nice. Nothing to say about the clothes? Don't blame me, they're just clothes. Your, uh, stuff? Okay. Alright, yeah. Guys, we're going to call it an episode here before we start to really get into this quest line. so I'll see you next time for some more The Oblivion Walker. Bye!